So some of the new features, Jingwei's Persistent Gust, um, so that's her first ability. It now has a secondary larger circle area. Um, so this doesn't hit enemies, but it allows Jingwei to gain the buff that she would have normally gained from having to be self CC'd and knocked up. Yeah. So and we do have game if we want yeah, to. I was about to say, let's yeah. Let's dive into it. Yeah. We can show It'll it all. There we go. So you see that first hey. ability? It's kind of a double circle now. You've still got your normal persistent gust deployable at the center that'll knock up yourself, knock up enemies just as you would expect. But now you can be in this larger area uh, to gain that buff. You don't Getting really the buff without CC. having to CC yourself is a big change. Yeah, it's a big change. So big. Right. That being said, using it in practice isn't is is a little bit difficult in times. If you want to use it at range, you need to get back in there, right? Like it's it's, it's still a very it's not just ubiquitously just good all the time. You need right. to still position yourself well, um, especially in team fights. So uh, your second ability, explosive balls. Honestly, this is the big one. Right. This, okay. this is a pretty big deal. Okay. Well, that there's another one too. <laughs> but your <laughs> explosive balls actually gains charges per rank. So at the uh, at the first rank of your ability, you only get one charge. One charge still comprises of three ammo shots, just like it does in Smite One. But as you rank that ability up, you can go to two ability charges and then finally three ability charges. So that means if you're if you're using them and you have all three ability charges, you can technically gain uh, nine explosive ball shots all back to back. Or just like you can in Smite One, you can actually use this ability, put it on cooldown, and accumulate a charge back during that time. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So you can get even more than that nine. But not stopping there, because one <laughs> thing that we didn't even write in the patch notes that are technically there too. So the third ability, I'm going to come back to that. Don't worry, it's a small segue. All right. Um, the third ability, agility. Um, the dash now actually has a little bit of a turning to it. So you can now, whether you're in the air or doing it from the ground, getting a little bit of turn That's left or right. Air control. Air control. Yeah. You can kind of turn corners around that. You can do this from other gods' displacement effects as well. But it also gives you an ability charge for your second ability too. Oh, that's awesome. So multiple ways well, of playing is that, that only effect. if you fire it off of the persistent gust or every time you fire every time you fire it yep. so every time you fire you it you're fire essentially it. like queuing up so we kind of made that like secret load reload mechanic that jingwei had we made it a little bit more intentional and more present throughout the kit and uh yeah you can get those full nine explosive bolts but you need to fire one two three ability activate yes. one two three exactly you can't just go spam 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 and queue up nine ammo just, yeah, I, just like you have to one, balance you it sacrifice out to each your charge. yeah right there i had i spent two of my charges so i had one in the bank and then i used my two and i just went to three i didn't get a fourth one she's got a new passive meter that shows the pips on the bottom are the ch ability, ability charges, charges and yeah. the birds in the top are the current ammo. Exactly. So, so cool. one, two, three, press two, four, five, six. Press that being said, yeah. there's obviously balance knobs and, and then like tweaks here and there. Uh, the ability still gains crit over time, but this physical power scaling is a little bit lowered uh, based on the ranks to kind of make up for the ability changes too. That being said, we're really excited for people to check it out, but that's not it. Cause not we've it. got one more, uh, a pretty cool change for her ultimate actually airstrike well it does exactly what you expect where jingwei go charges up goes up into the air and fires forwards and has her hover time and then she can land but if you time out the the ultimate uh, hover time i'm gonna wait for it just chill you actually go backwards and do the entire dash again oh, you get so a cool. second alt a second yes. strafe so you can fire this just like you always have you don't have to be disruptive. Like a lot of times people are just gonna fire this, look for damage and look to land right out the bat. Yeah. We didn't want to disrupt that. But exactly. now you have this whole extra element where you can mind game your opponent because they won't really know what you're gonna do. This ability was getting really predictable in Smite yeah. 1. You can also just get more damage if you, um, or more immunity time by staying up there. People, uh, it's the, hitting in that area is a little harder to hit because it's gonna go back to where you came from, yeah. right? But there's a so there's an extra skill element for the Jingwei yep. player. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. Again, some small balance knobs there. You you don't um you can't go as far as you could if you're going from like the hover state to the landing state. So you know we we know that Jingwei is also a very safe character. We didn't want to take that away from her, but we wanted to just make sure that we curtailed it. So like you're not gaining and um. It's, uh, 60 feet maybe you're gaining like 40 feet or something like that yeah um in smite one terms uh so yeah everything i think we're pretty excited with these changes oh, yeah sure. feel, you know breath of fresh air into drink way and coming into smite two <laughs>